Right, ready? Hello and welcome back to a new season of Getting to Know The Darts. As you can see, we've got a smiling Jules Porter. George, how are you, mate? How are you, James? You're right. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Um, yeah, a great guest to come on the first one. <laughs> Obviously, George just showed you the videos earlier. Yeah. Well, yeah. What did you think of What did you think of the series? I think it's good. I think things like that. It's it's, it's good. Obviously, the supporters and that get to see like things that probably they don't they would never know. So yeah, I, I had a good laugh at the video you sent me earlier. <laughs> yeah, right, we're gonna put you through. We're gonna put you through the test. We've just spent about twenty minutes realizing an interesting fact about you. So this is gonna be. We, we did find one though in the end. Right, let's start right at this right right at the beginning. Then, what was your first football memory? Um, when I was probably as I don't know. Seven, Primary school when we uh, the first the first team that I could ever play for. Uh, I don't know how old it would have been, but yeah, I was playing five aside for Elton Town, and uh, then we went on to Riverside FC. Gradually, like stepped up the uh, the amount of players that we could have, but that was our first memory of me playing football. Perfect, right? Yes, yeah, so I'll give you. Let's give. Let's uh, let's have your best football memory. My best football memory, well, it's probably it's my worst as well. Yes? Yeah. yeah so, okay. Um, we, we got to the FA Trophy final a few years ago with Bromley, and I think that's probably the best moment I've had, you know, walking out of Wembley. Yeah. It's probably a dream for most people, isn't it, really? And there was quite a few fans there as well, so it made it, yeah, it was brilliant. Like, all the lead up to it and everything was, was great, but as I said there, it was the worst memory because we lost on penalties, so yeah. it didn't, didn't go to plan. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, playing at the home of football, it must have been such a great experience seeing all those all those Bromley fans, obviously the, the team that you're playing for at the time, like you just said about the build up to the day, yeah. and the whole experience as well. Yeah, it's, it was, it's mad, you know, like obviously you, you see it on the telly, like, and you just think like, it's so big and stuff, but it's, you know, like the build up to it, all the, the, the coach up there, Getting in this, the change rooms. I mean, the change rooms are the size of the training pitch. You know, they're, they're massive. And then obviously playing there, it was, it was great, great experience. It was just, just a shame about the result, mate. Yeah. yeah let's let, let's get to know you a little bit more now, uh, individually. <laughs> right, tell everyone the team, the team that you support. I support Millwall. Oh, <laughs> oh no! I've supported Millwall since I could have ever imagined when. Uh, I think the 2004 was the FA Cup final when we played Man United, went to that, went to the semi-final versus Sunderland with my dad, my dad's a massive Millwall fan, the majority of my family are Millwall as well, so yeah, I'm a lion. <laughs> wow, I wonder what, I wonder what divide that's going to that's gonna set now between the dark and the dark yeah, 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 hopefully, they, hopefully they'll be alright. <laughs> so right, um, tell everyone what you do away from football. So. Um, I, uh, I run a commercial cleaning company. I've had that for now two and a half years. So, just to put it short, I basically work for the letting agency. So we deal with end of tenancy clean. So I go through estate agents. Basically, when someone moves out of their flat, they have to get it clean. Like the estate agent get, has to get it clean. That's where I come in. My company come in, and I, yeah, I work for a few estate agents. Work for a few property managers. Uh, building firms and yeah it's really good really enjoy it love it actually it's, it's just it's something that I wanted to do after football anyway obviously football don't last forever does it so it's, it's a good start for me to crack on when when I do finally retire from football so yeah yeah and I mean it, it must be nice that obviously you're, you're able to then come here twice in the evening and and on a Saturday and and, and do what you love that's it yeah and obviously that was uh, a little part of the reason why I'm here, but obviously this is it was obviously football football reasons why I've signed for this football club. Yeah. Obviously coming away from the question, but I yeah. want to be here for football terms. Obviously like the uh, the project that Kingy's got going here. So now, nah, but as you said there, um, away from football is great. You know I can crack on all, all day. I can work from the phone, the laptop, and delegate from the from uh, with my cleaners and stuff. So I really enjoy it. Perfect. Right, this was the this was the tough question, but we got there in the end. Yeah, interesting fact about you. So, an interesting fact about me: when I was young in school, secondary school, yeah, I was really good at athletics, and I had to make a decision whether to play football or pursue an athletics. Wow, you know, like sort of. And uh, my speciality was the hundred meters. I was a good all rounder, anyway, yeah. really. Yeah, I used to just do long jump. I used to be good at long jump. Even like trampolining in school, so like, I used to do a lot of athletics. You did, like, you did tell me how quick you can run 100 metres. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was literally like, I was year eight, year seven, <laughs> and 
and I think it was just yeah 13 seconds ish wow so Wow. It was fast. Was that off your stopwatch or was it the teacher's? Uh, yeah, a bit of both really. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could cut it down a bit more, but no, it was, yeah, I was good at it. I, you know, I just enjoyed athletics and yeah, it was good. Good. Right. The question that everyone asks in football is obviously the two biggest names in football is Messi or Ronaldo. Who are you, Messi or Ronaldo? I'm, I'm Lionel Messi. Yeah? Yeah, I just, I just love the way he just, listen, don't get me wrong, Ronaldo is unbelievable. Yeah. I, I love this argument. I do love it, but I just, I just love Messi. I love the way he plays. I just love the way that he can just get out of any situation. He's got a great left foot and right foot. Yeah, he's just amazing. Obviously, his goal record speaks for itself. Yeah. Barcelona, the biggest club in the world, I think, and he's just, he just takes it all on his shoulders, all on his own, and I just, yeah, love him. Definitely right. Let's put it back into the dressing room then, where you're spending your time at the moment. Um, obviously, your new teammates, some that you you know outside of football, obviously Bonds and Ronnie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've been in the changing room a fair few weeks now. Who would you say the biggest joker is in that dressing room, <laughs> apart from you? <laughs> yeah, um, I'd say Lukey, Luke Manadio. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I spent a bit of time with him at Bromley as well. And I think he's come out of his shell like more at Dartford now. I think, yeah, okay. and I think obviously because he was here before, yeah. he knows a few of the players. He's just funny, like he really is funny. Like, I, I get on with him well, and he winds a lot of the boys up as well, like a lot of the older boys. He, he's a good laugh. Ronnie on his day is funny. Yeah, yeah, I'm we all know that, Ronnie. Right? Yeah, Ron, Ronnie's a good boy, but yeah, I'd say Lukey, you know, yeah. Brilliant, Luke and Adi, I couldn't. Yeah. I can't believe it, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's different in there, trust me. Yeah. Uh, right, most talented. Most talented, I um, I'd say no. Yeah, yeah, I really, I really like Nor. I've, I've, I can't remember if I've played against him before, but I think Pierre and Murtar and Nor, I'd say they're just, they're just naturally, they're natural footballers. I think they receive the ball well, mm. under pressure, comfortable on the ball. That's just, that's what I look for in a, in a player. You know, someone that wants to receive the ball and not just go hiding. You know, or not just ask for the ball when they don't really want the ball. I, th I think they're good players. What's quite interesting there, Jules, though, is that you've mentioned obviously two names that. I think a lot of people feel that they go unnoticed in the Dartford side, certainly Nor and, and certainly Kieran as well. Obviously, Kieran plays in that position where it's a bit of the dirty work. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah like, as you say, obviously, you, you both see talented, talented footballers. Yeah, I, I mean, I've played against Kieran for, for years, you mm. know, when I was at Bromley. And he's, he's, just, he's just one of them players you look at and you just think he's, he's comfortable on the ball. He knows his position well. It'd fit well in a team, you know, and I, I, I think it'd be a key player for us this year. I really do. I'd like to give a shout out to Jake Robinson, though. He's behind us now and he's taking penalties. <laughs> so I'll have to give him a, I'll have to give him a shout out. He's a, he's goal record speak for himself. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah I mean, practicing penalties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, keep it clean. Weirdest, weirdest thing a teammate does before a game. Do you know what? There's loads of things in there. Obviously, the, the, the putting on the socks, right foot, left foot, yeah. um, doing the hair, stuff like that. I, I haven't seen much of it since, I think we've been here two months now, I haven't seen much of that yet. But um, yeah, I can't really give you an answer for that one. I, I'll, I'll have to give it clean, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I haven't seen much, I haven't seen it, much. We did hear rumours that Tom Bonner just takes a look at the mirror before he walks out the door. Is oh it, yeah, is it? more than once yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I didn't want to say that just in case he watches it, but he probably will now. But yeah, he's always in front of the mirror at once. <laughs> <laughs> He'll say that to me though, because obviously my hair, but no, he, <laughs> he um, yeah, you know what Bonds is like, he has to keep his quiff, quiff over to the right, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> over to the right. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to get a mention now, isn't he? A person that you, you see becoming a manager. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, just captain, I think, I, God knows how long he's been here now, he's been here a while, he's yeah. just, he is literally skipper, I've known Bonds off the pitch so I know what he's like, but coming into the football environment he is, you know, you could see him going on being a manager or, a, or an assistant either or, but you can definitely see that, because the authority he's got in the changing room, you know, the boys listen to him and uh, I think that's a strong thing to have in a person, especially if you want to go on and be a manager, I think, I think that works well for you. Perfect, George. George, you've been brilliant. Thank you for joining me for the first season of getting to know the darts. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll try and get Jake on next week. 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, he'll we'll, have some stories. We'll, we'll, we'll catch him before he starts practicing penalty, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> a goalkeeper, by the way. He's missed four. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you, George. Cheers, Jake.